Reya and welcome to another video. Today it is time for another bullet journal overview video. I did one in February where I had just started my bullet journal and now I would like to show you how I've been keeping up with it, what changes I've made and what my recent spreads are looking like. I hope you enjoy. So here was my January uh, as you can see, I had to do some little bit of editing and I've already shown you how this works. Uh, you can see the excess of books I didn't finish and books uh, that I crossed over because I couldn't finish them. And then we move over to February. Here you can see quite a bit of editing. This is where I decided that I would pencil in my plans uh, so as not to have too many like two concrete plans and they would be easier to adjust um, when I want to do something else. As you can see I was going to do a completely different video here and I got some things mixed up etc. And here is the finished um, February TBR. I thought that this worked pretty well but I decided in the next month uh, to completely revamp this page. And I decided to also revamp this page because I noticed that I can't work with such a strict uh, plan, especially daily. So in the next month I uh, redid this. And now let's move on to March, which, are, which is the first month you haven't seen. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, I didn't complete all my uh, plans for videos, but I'm quite proud of how it turned out. Here you can see that I kind of fell off the bandwagon when it came to subtitling, so these are all subtitled in April, actually. And here is the new layout. I took these pages per day uh, tracker from uh, Lala, from books and Lala and it worked pretty well. I kind of made it a little bit differently in uh, May and April but I'm super happy how it turned out. I have different colors for each type of book that I was reading and here I tried to adjust my um, language studies but it didn't work out very well so in the next um, month I have a completely different setup because I also started uh, some new languages. And then moving on to April, I really actually like this uh, title page. Here are the videos for the month. As you can see, some of them I still haven't subtitled, so these will be, um, when I get to subtitle, these will be uh, marked with the color of the month uh, that they're sub subtitled. And I have this cute Rilakkuma washi tape uh, decorating the page. And here you can see my April reading in its complete and utter failure. I was going to do Pridathon, I could not do it. I was going to read all these comics, I didn't. I was going to read books a lot, I couldn't. Uh, because school got in the way. So here you can see my failure. and. I redid this whole extras page. It is now called Everyday Things and there's a lot of different trackers. There's my language studies for Japanese and German and it worked out some days better than it did in others. I did a mood tracker but it actually made me super depressed uh, to see how many days of the month I was feeling super anxious uh, and kind of meh about everything so I didn't do this uh, for May. And then I have a water tracker to track whether I'm drinking and also an exercise tracker which I started late in the month. And then we go to May, the current month. As you can see I have penciled in uh, some video plans and I have put in some, um, like for example here I am uh, filming, like the filming days for my reading vlog and I've also put in kind of starter dates for uh, 
Borathon, so and and also marked in convention ta- convention days. So I've started to use this calendar for other things uh, than just for videos. And here's like uh, video plans when I'm going to film, edit, upload. And here is my TBR and pages per day. It is quite ambitious. I'm, I don't think that I'm going to get to all of these books, but I'm hoping I will. I also have some trouble uh, with the pages per day uh, page when it comes to audiobooks, because in this day, the fourth, I actually listen to a lot of my audiobook, but I don't really know how I can... Uh, how I can show it in the pages per day thing, so it kind of seems like I haven't done any reading when in actuality I have. And then here is my everyday trackers for the month. We have this new water tracker. I actually really like how this looks and my language studies, which are going pretty well this month, hoping not to jinx it, and my exercise tracker and I have all the dates uh, on which I need to exercise. Some days I haven't done my uh, goal to the full. And then uh, this flag thing is like I need to exercise on 13 days of the month. And on this flag I will write down the number uh, of which days I actually did the whole exercise thing. And there you have it. This is how my bullet journal is looking. And here is the... I've already drawn... Uh, drawn the title page for June. Okay, and here in the end I've made this uh, section for Booktube SFF Awards. We have the title page and then we have all the nominees for different categories. Um, I actually got this idea from Twitter. I don't remember who did it um, first, but this is not my original idea. However, I did spruce it up by adding these ballots. This is going to be my personal vote. And then here's going to be like the results. So it's going to have a popular vote section and the judge's choice. So I've made this as kind of um, this section as a kind of reminder of what's going on in the Booktube SFF uh, Awards sphere. And then we have the babbles. These are already ones that I've completed. And then here we have my Berserk reread project. I'm doing like statistics, like rating and volume. See? how it's going to go. And here is just um, another statistic that I'm doing um, for my cat's health. And that's pretty much it. And there you have it. This has been my bullet journal overview part two. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you in another video very soon. Bye-bye!